So Excellence in Mentoring Undergraduate Research focuses on multi-institutional research on exactly as the title suggests, how we do mentoring undergraduate research well. And it features multi-institutional research from scholars around the globe. So the US, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom are all represented. And the co-authors actually collaborated on research for each chapter. So we are able with this collection to look not just at what might work in an individual institution, but we're able to look at what works for mentored undergraduate research across different contexts in higher education, whether it's a community college in the US system or a research-focused institution in Australia and everything in between. You know, one of the things that that's very important, you know, especially with the proliferation of undergraduate research programs across higher higher ed, is that that people interact as a community to develop excellent practice, uh, and meaning so that students get a meaningful experience and deepen the learning experience and the impact uh, on student development. So really, the the focus of the book is to provide some ideas, I guess, to. Uh, to faculty mentors and staff mentors as they work with undergraduate students in research uh, as a way to help um, provide the likelihood that it's going to be an impactful learning experience. I think the collection as a whole is helpful because it allows us to think really intentionally about different types of mentoring models. So as undergraduate research becomes more democratized, how can we ensure that we're not spread too thin and we can still give students a really rich research experience? Um, and then the 10 salient practices help guide uh, mentors through the process of actually facilitating high quality mentoring. And then when we start looking at student identity and identity shifts, I think that actually emboldens those 10 salient practices because we can be thinking more about students and their individual development while we are working through those practices. And we're finding contextual models of mentoring that suit those students in the best ways possible. We hope that the collection will really appeal to faculty members who are interested in mentoring undergraduate research, but also undergraduate research programs and also their administrators. So the collection has some chapters that really speak to individual faculty and how they can enhance their professional development towards being really effective mentors. It also has some chapters that are geared more towards undergraduate research programs, thinking about how do they support faculty or academic staff across the university to be better mentors. And then a few of the chapters also speak to the resources that institutions need to provide to really make a strong undergraduate research program possible in their context. And across all of the chapters on all of the potential audiences, we're really thinking about not just what do we know works in one context, but how could these practices based on research be adapted for different institution types, different students, and different groups of faculty.